to. Brilliant. <laughs> it was mega. How do you top it? Tell you how. Robot golf. Okay? A car that can supposedly drive itself fast around a circuit than a human being. I don't believe that. It's true. It oh, is true. You look good behind there, by the way. What can I get you? Cup of tea, love. A top-secret Volkswagen test facility deep in the German countryside is home to this. The autonomous Golf GTI. <laughs> Making a self-driving car is remarkably easy. With ABS, a fly-by-wire throttle, an automatic gearbox and electro-hydraulic power steering, many modern cars have the necessary bits. You just need to add sophisticated GPS connected to a laser scanning eye so the car can see where it's going. It's all powered by a couple of computer chips like the ones in your PC at home. We're here to see if it really is quicker than a human. So, here's the challenge. I'm laying out a course with these cones. I'm going to drive around it myself to set a time and then we're going to see whether the robot Golf can beat it. I wanted to make the circuit as challenging as possible, so I laid out plenty of tight bends. Arc. I crossed the line in 57 seconds. Right, the car's turn. Now, first of all, it's got to learn the course. And to do that, it does need some human input. I've got to uh, press this start button twice. Ooh. And, uh, gosh, I feel the control has already been taken away from me. Ooh. But I put it into S. Beep. I press start again, and it should move off and... Start finding where those cones are. Ooh. <laughs> it does, <laughs> straight away. It's quite, a, it's quite a unique experience. The laser scanner at the front is uh, sensing where all the cones are and storing all the information in the, in the car's memory. So it's going about 15, 20 kilometers an hour, taking it all in. But the amazing thing is that even though it's never seen this course before, it's never seen the cones, it's actually sort of plotting the course quite quickly. I expected it to be jerking around and lurching all over the place. Now, a big turn here. Is it going to cope? Yep. Yeah. It, it does. It's amazingly smooth, actually. In effect, it's recording the lap. And they tell me when it comes to playback, it's going to be a lot quicker. Let's see. With the racing line calculated, it was time to see if the car could beat my lap of 57 seconds by itself. Now, on this occasion, I should be accompanied by young Gregor, who will hit the emergency stop button should the car decide to go rogue. But I'll be here in the passenger seat to ensure there's no foul play. Right, Gregor, commence the experiment. OK. Self-driving Golf was developed to be the ultimate test driver, 
Unlike a human, it never needs feeding and can work day and night. And because it drives consistent laps, you can compare things like tyre life with supreme accuracy. It's like a lesson. Yes. What do you think? A driver lesson? Yeah, it's like a driving lesson. for a driving school, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> but nothing for economic driving. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not perfect just yet. In the car's haste, it clipped a cone and crossed the line in 58 seconds. It may have been hindered by the extra weight of two people, but I shall mark this up as a famous victory for the human race over the silicon chip.